Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a get ready with me and this is a date night glamorous look that I wore over the weekend. I was really inspired by this dress that I wore and I really wanted to use some glitter. So if you'd like to see how I got this look and the full outfit then please keep watching. So starting off with my makeup fixing mix from Pixie, I'm putting that all over my face and patting it into my skin. And for my primer, I used the Too Faced Prime and Poreless Primer. I actually feel like this one might be slightly better than the Benefit professional primer but I'm just putting this all over my face before going into my foundation and for my foundation I use the NARS weightless stay all day luminous foundation the one that has a really really long name and I'm patting that all over my skin with my damp beauty blender and the shade I believe this is medium 3 and for concealer I use the naked skin concealer in light neutral underneath my eyes and then highlighted the usual parts of my face as always before going in and blending all of this out with my damp beauty blender as well and I really hate my lighting whenever I film at night because it makes my makeup look really bright when in actual fact it isn't so I'm sorry if this looks really ghostly or light or whatever, but it's just the lighting. I'm really sorry. Um, and then for my contour, I use the Laura Mercier Contour Kit. And I'm first going in with the dark shades and contouring my face with a Zoeva. I think this is the concealer brush. And I'm putting this on into the usual areas and then also contouring my nose just using my fingers. Before again going in and blending everything out with my beauty blender for my nose and my Real Techniques contour brush for the other lines on my face to make sure everything's nice and buffed out. Do you guys like it when I show you guys my full face routine or would you prefer me skip this bit? Let me know in the comments below. And then I'm setting everything in place with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. So I'm setting all the concealed and highlighted places with that first and using my Real Techniques complexion brush and setting the contour areas with the Kevin O'Quan contouring powder in the shade medium and my contour brush by Zoeva. And once I was done with that I wanted to warm my face up a little bit so I'm using my favourite bronzer slash powder here and this is the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade Deep which is 06 and I really love this as a bronzer. And once I was done with that I blended any lines out with my damp beauty blender and filled in my brows off camera. For the eyes I used the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette because I wanted the eyes to look very matte because we are going in with the glittery eyeliner. So I started putting my eyeshadow on and realised I forgot to prime my lids so I'm priming my eyelids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the shade Eden and this just gives the eyeshadow a nice base for it to stick to and it doesn't crease either. So now I'm going in with that Heaven shade and I'm putting that all over my eyelids as a nice base and this again looks really bright but in real life it didn't look this bright it's just my darn lighting which I'm trying to find a solution for um, and then I took this shade honey butter and started working that into the crease I actually really like this palette all the matte colors in here are so beautiful and they all work really well together as well so here I'm just building up the color until I am happy with it and right at the end making sure that both of my eyes are as similar and as even as possible before going in with cashmere bunny which is this shade and I'm putting that onto the rest of my eyelid just so that all the colours are nicely blended in together. And before we deepened any crease up, I went in with my eyeliner first. So here I'm just taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Gel Eyeliner and I am lining my eyes. So I'm not really a gel eyeliner kind of girl, but I just really like the lasting power of this. So I'm kind of outlining the shape that I want and then kind of padding everything out with my Maybelline Master Ink Matte Eyeliner because this is super matte and matched the gel eyeliner that we had already used. So I'm just thickening up the areas that need thickening up and just kind of fixing the shape as to how I want it. And once I was happy with that, as always, I go in and do the same exact thing to the other eye and I'm making sure that both of my wings are as even looking as possible. And um, yeah, I just fixed any kind of areas that needed fixing. So once I had done my eyeliner, I really liked going in and deepening the crease afterwards because it makes me know where I want to place the colour. So I'm taking Risqué and Sexpresso, mixing those two colours in and putting that on to my outer crease. I'm trying to concentrate this corner on the outer third and then just dragging it in slightly. 
And once I was happy with the eyeshadow, I went in with the glitters. So I took Midnight Cowboy First by Urban um, Decay, and I put one layer of this directly on top of the eyeliner that we had done with the gel and Maybelline liner. And once I was done with that, I layered like two other colors on top because I wanted to give it a really nice three-dimensional intense look and feel to it. So here I'm taking Distortion, which is another Urban Decay glitter eyeliner. I was about to say gel eyeliner just then. And I'm layering that on top before going in with Glam Rock, which is a black and silvery look. Um, so I'm just layering all of those on until I was happy with the way that it was looking because I really wanted it to have that really dimensional look to it and not just flat and one color. And then I did go on top with the gold Midnight Cowboy just to make sure that that gold was prominent on the eyes and it looked a little something like this. I'm just obsessed with this. Um, and then I took the Mr. Right Now in the golden shade and I'm dragging that onto my lower lash line and waterline as well just to make sure that my eyes at the bottom are nice and diffused out and it matches like the top part of my eyes. So once I was done with that I put a little bit Bit of the false lash telescopic mascara by L'Oreal Paris and I'm just coating my eyelashes with that nothing major because I was gonna go in with eyelashes in this look so I didn't want to go too much extra with the mascara after I was done putting that onto my lower lashes I went in with my blush and here I'm using NARS orgasm and I feel like I'm really late to the party with this one but how gorgeous is this blush I am obsessed with it it's so 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 beautiful and for highlight I used my champagne pop by Becca and Jaclyn Hill and just look at that highlight you guys it is oh it is so beautiful I just love 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 this highlight so much um, so I put it on the usual places and also my nose and my cupid's bow as well the lips I use this Rimmel lip liner I think this is in the shade addiction and I'm lining my lips and then also filling them in and for the lipstick I actually use my current favorite which is the bourgeois rouge edition velvet in the shade number 10 which is such a gorgeous pinky shade that looks amazing with pretty much any eye and I love how comfortable it is on the lips as well and once I was done with that it was time to put my lashes on and these are the Huda Beauty Samantha lashes and I'm just fixing them right here before moving on to my hair so for my hair first I put a little bit of the Urban Fudge Dry Shampoo in it and this is the Crisp Pear and Sweet Vanilla scent which is so 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 lovely it smells like heaven it's amazing and once I was done with that this is dark hair problems it goes all white but I like to massage that all in to make sure all of it is sunken into my hair and then you can't see any of that powderiness then taking my Bombay hair five-in-one curler this is the largest barrel I'm going and just taking random sections of my hair and curling them away from my face and if only it took me this long to curl my hair because now I'm just done with the second side of my head I'm just fixing any areas that need an extra curl and I just love the way that my hair looked because it did drop out ever so slightly and it just looked really nice and natural then taking some of the Tresemme max the volume hairspray I'm just spraying that into my hair and I just make sure everything is kind of like locked into place before adding a little bit of hair oil and the one that I used is the Kerastase Elixir Ultimate and I just ran that in the mid lengths and ends of my hair to make sure that it was looking nice and glossy. And the last few steps I made sure I put some deodorant on, so here I'm using the Shaw Maximum Protection. This stuff is just genius. It lasts for so long and it's so comfortable to wear. And for my perfume I used my favourite perfume which is the YSL Supreme Bouquet and it just smells so, so, so gorgeous. I only use this on special occasions because it is very expensive and then finally I just set all of my makeup in place using the Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray and that is a, the look complete. I am so obsessed with this makeup look. I was inspired a little bit by Nikki Tutorials because she did a similar glittery eyeliner but I personally just loved layering the glitters and I feel like it really matched my outfit as well but this is the final makeup look I really hope you guys enjoyed it but I do want to show you my outfit because I am obsessed with this outfit I'm obsessed with the dress and the shoes so the shoes are from Topshop and they are feathery and they're amazing and this is my dress which is also from Topshop which I was kind of inspired to create this look by because it was like a very dimensional gold and black look which I felt the glitter eyeliner suited so perfectly and I love the panelling as well. 
So yeah, I guess that's all for now you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this get ready with me and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!